The threat of severe weather brought storm chasing groups from around Nebraska and across the country. It even brought the Weather Channel crew to our area. They set up near Grand Island. News Times' Lauren Conley joined a group of chasers this afternoon. She now joins us live in the studio. Lauren, how did it go? Guys, I headed out with four storm chasers from the Great Plains Severe Weather Team. And while we didn't catch sight of any tornadoes, we did come very close. It looks like it's actually raining in Greeley right now. A tornado warning was issued in Greeley County just before 4.30 p.m. on Tuesday. So we're going to have to get north of Greeley to be, to be able to see the tornado. I set out with the Great Plains Severe Weather Team just before 3 p.m. with a moderate to high risk for severe weather. Is that a wall cloud right there? So that could turn into a tornado? A wall cloud is something that the Lord gets it, gets it close to the ground and that's what the funnel will come out. With safety as a priority, the crew worked to stay southeast of the fast-moving clouds. Storms were moving at 50 miles an hour, which, which can be complicated to keep up with. We even turned around to escape a potentially dangerous situation. There's really a fine line of getting close enough to a tornado to see it and, uh, and really and playing it safe. With the help of a radar-equipped laptop, the crew can track up-to-the-minute movements of the storm. We can actually see the cells. Uh, we can see the hook echoes where the tornadoes might possibly be, and it allows us to stay out of the storms. While several reported tornadoes struck across the state, <laughs> the crew says Nebraska got lucky this time. There were some potential for some very destructive tornadoes to happen. Though they go out with the hopes of eyeing a twister. It's mesmerizing. They say their number one priority is safety. And that's part of the reason why we chase. And the crew from the Great Plains Severe Weather Team says they do want to emphasize to people that even though today's severe storms were not quite as bad as expected, you should always heed warnings in the future. Katie and Colin. Thank you so much, Lauren. Very